And welcome back to an episode of the Revolutionary Girl Utena. Last time we kind of pretty much had a uh, recap episode. The, yeah, pretty much putting all the duels we've witnessed so far into a different context and producing a new character with a new concept. Uh, I think it was something. It was uh, Anfi's older brother. Looks like he's uh, not in a. Uh, high school anymore, at least the uh, academy. <laughs> so maybe we get to see a bit more of the outside world. But uh, before that, we have this whole new obstacle of, I think it was called the Knights of the Black Rose. Obviously kind of obvious that they are, you know, they are not the obstacle course of Black Rose, pretty much the opposite of uh, Utena's White Rose. And also, I guess, a non or combination of colors, since we had Utana go against the color, few colors for orange, red, green, and uh, yellow, or blue also. All that through the student council. So I guess now it's just black left, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, I guess let's just see. Uh, what happens? Guess that's it. In three, two, one, go. I keep forgetting this opening. Is there now and maybe in a change in the opening? Still seems quite the same for now. <laughs> Revolution. <laughs> Is it me just wanting to see you now? change the animation in the opening or was the prince was the prince always awake in the opening <laughs> yeah that's uh one skinny ass building if that's supposed to be a dutch building in the golden age just then sure but fuck yeah who built a, who built the fuck a skinny ass building so it wouldn't make sense as a Dutch building the uh, Golden Ages since then it would have buildings surrounding it. Yeah. Wait, is that Anfi's sister? <laughs> The boys of oh no it's not no no it's it's the boys of the black rose. It's alright. Uh. Okay. Leader. Welcome home. Cake box? Cake box. Why is there cake? Okay. That's why. Why is that? Why did you actually wait? Why the fuck did you <laughs> put it on the window? Oh god, the cake is ruined now. Unless this little monkey is holding on. Actually, no, it'll still be ruined.
Hmm. Ah. Family woman. Why not? Uh-huh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, there's this person on either side? Hmm. <laughs> no, that's a, that's a machine. Well... <laughs> a private party, that's in uh way it's called it. Also, yeah, that bringing off the elevator probably would have alerted them. <laughs> well, it's fiance, not friend, but yeah. Okay. So, you got into this position by getting to her pants. <laughs> Wait, so you're still in high school. How old is he? He's gonna be acting chairman. But, what? No, he's acting chairman. And she's still in high school. Something's wrong here. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Good day, though. Do they, though? <laughs> Maybe that's what happened after the last Jew. And he had the thing. Why well, you're still not officially married? That fucking face. <sighs> Kage? Okay. Uh, no need. <laughs> what else, sir? This money, okay. Okay. So, he's researching. Mikaki seminar. What's the members? Okay, so it's just a separate shop. No. Hmm. I guess in, you can't be a high school and be legal. Like it's until eighteen, right? Wait. I told him this Japan as uh after high school. Oh, by 18. So, yeah, I guess she's last year, I guess it's fine. So, a bit strange, but it's fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pillar between. Oh, all right, Rosebay. Wait, what? Is it not based off your lineage? But, or maybe Amphi just doesn't know it's based off her lineage since it just looks like her. 
My brother obviously knows from last episode. So, I won't be surprised if it's just Anthe just doesn't know because she just works off of the principle. She knows what she knows and does, doesn't need to know more than she has to know. Now that's sad. That's... It, 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 chicken. Burial a hundred. Okay. You can't even do that? Okay. Now we also put into the thing of able to change Rose May and most Rose and Bright Brights. Sure. I guess. What are you doing in there? You please fill out the record. I ain't looking concerned like that. Also, yeah, change the ro Rosenbride with her. Is that her sister? Why? Hmm. This is that Anfi's sister, or is just somebody in the same? lineage but not directly related they're really just having a great fun making it <laughs> sure something's a hundred the fuck is this that's the rose seals okay What is this interview about? <laughs> is this supposed to be just like a sorority? Well, not sorority, just in the little club. <laughs> this is a hazing interview. <laughs> okay. She's just, it was, you know, yeah. Well, yes, well, just know her, know her. Okay, so are they just trying to harvest thing? Harvest negative emotion from this little confession room you could say revolution <laughs> i don't think it's that grand of a scale i'm pretty sure this call it a family problem not in a go fuck up the world problem <laughs> or change the world problem Under duelist, okay. So all of them are were duelists. It's a morgue. Hmm. Okay.
Spooky. So we're going against negative emotions now instead of selfish but pure. Kind of. I don't think that's how roses work. I'm pretty sure you can't just stop somebody with them. <laughs> okay. And let or yeah, let her. Oh, they're away from the user location and we're integrated into the scene now. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? She interacted with them. Or was that not supposed? No, that. that. Oh, wait. It sounded, it sounded like you, Tana. And the timing of it feels like it's what you, Tana, saying it. Hmm. Also. Okay, so they are just. Harvesting negative emotion, turning people into dualists to further their own plans. Since if it really was just to fulfill her own hatred for your aunt fee, she wouldn't have dueled to Tana. She'd just probably just go up and stab you, <laughs> aunt fee. <laughs> Maybe, probably. Mm hmm. <laughs> I just had a thought. Imagine tr this transformation scene instead of giving her, just giving her frills to protect her waist. Transformation just put puts her puts on pa uh, put on pads instead of her shorts. I'm really still questioning why the fuck she has shorts of pants. A bright red shorts of that. <laughs> yeah, that that is not even the uh, that's not even the standard boys uniform, but just color change. That's just half of the boys uniform and just shorts. What are you seeing? Ah, a hundred dead students. Yeah, white flowers, the sign of condolence to a student. Kind of an um, an uh, unstable, and a type of a stable staple bullying method in uh, Japanese media, putting on a white flower on the person's desk because it's pretty much wishing them to die. In a beautiful and cruel way. How do you don't say that? To be honest, uh, hmm. I I feel like it's the first time someone would be seeing this. At least dueling against a black rose. Even if they say that. Actually, no, what did they actually say? Unless they explicitly said that it was because they were black rose. You wouldn't expect them. You wouldn't suspect a black rose at first. Like, maybe like after another two duels against a black, duel, uh, black rose duelists. You might suspect like. 
Once is just a miracle, twice is a coincidence, three times is a pattern. And that's disrespectful. Hmm. Out of Dios. Not this move again. <laughs> Okay, now it's in fast fight. But I guess she was not like a professional duelist, so. Hmm. So what's, what's the moving of the desks? Okay, you destroyed the Black Rose and its influence over it. What? Okay, there's some work. So the first body of 100 has been incinerated. So what happened to her afterward? Saturday night. What? Okay. What? No, it doesn't look like you've hurt her. <laughs> like she, you did the duel, like like normal, and you know after. That's how you done the duel. You see that you never did. You never did like f direct physical damage to the opposites. Yeah, your your opponents. So. Don't think you actually did damage to her. <laughs> you <laughs> I just think, oh that's weird. Or she just beat herself mentally. What's up? Okay. Just Looking at the stars. Okay. So I guess, wait, how the fuck are they gonna shove in 100 duelists in this, in this show? Well, I guess it's just it's to be seen. Because <laughs> the way they set it up, it feels like they would... Yeah, it's a duelist in episode or something like that. Maybe it's mo maybe more after a while. But we, it does not feel like they, were, they are going to go through 100 duelists. And then the top two. Mm. Yeah, I guess the now the biggest question now is like can rose rose brides be changed? And if they can, what the fuck makes the those two of the boys of a black rose so certain that she she I, I forgot. I forgot both their names. That the the one that looks like Anfi, what makes him so uh, confident that she can be the Rose Bride. But I guess with how uh, with how Anfi is saying to not tell her brother that she's a Rose Bride, that's, I guess it's a process of being selected, maybe? Let's see them closely. Mm. 
Yeah, so it's that's something. So it's either a selection process that somebody came up to Anfi and just said, "Oh, you're the Rose Bride. Deal with it." Or maybe somehow she got roped into a selection process, maybe? How does it actually get selected? Because she believes that nobody knows except for the duelists and herself, obviously. But as we see, her brother knows. So is it not linear base and Alfie just doesn't know since nobody in her family just informed her, maybe? Because a rose may rose and bride doesn't need to know. Yeah, I don't know. Or yeah, I don't know. I don't know how else would a rose bride be chosen. It just really feels like it, it is linear space because even the one that they are trying to turn into rose bride looks like Anfi and her brother. Same hair color and skin color and maybe also eye color. I forgot. I I didn't fully look in, look into her eyes. But yeah, maybe the same lineage. And also looks the same as the prince. Maybe I don't know. I guess that's to be seen. But yeah, a hundred more people to kill. <laughs> Well, incinerate. Well, 99, since one already got uh, cremated or incinerated. Yeah. So I guess that's it. That'll be a episode of the, uh, the Revolutionary Girl Lieutenant. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. And here are the people who decided to sell out their souls. <laughs> Welcome to hell. <laughs>